important. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, 
it must mean adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use Hey, what's going on, Eric? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing evening. today? Uh, I feel good, teacher. Better health. Ah, that's awesome. That's awesome. What did you do today? Um, uh, to... Uh, Child, ¿cómo sería? Un poco. A little bit. A um, little bit tired because, uh -huh. uh, because too much work. Mm -hmm. uh, A lot very, of work. A lot of work uh, because uh, my boss, my boss tired. I see, I see. But tomorrow is Friday. Yes, uh, but uh, I will go uh, class to university. Okay, okay. Uh, what are you studying in the university? I study... Uh, Marketing. Oh, marketing. Nice. Oh, marketing. What university do you study at? In uh, Universidad Pedagógica. Oh, you go to La Pedagógica University. Yes. Uh, I am about to I live. Really? When do you graduate? Casi. <laughs> when? When? How long? One year? Two uh, years? Uh, is this... Uh, um, Six months for the, no sé cómo, cómo se dice, este, egresar. Uh, graduate, exit, exam. Ajá, uh -huh. uh, later, exit, later. Exit, este. exit, salida, exam, examen. Ok, este, later es especialización. Specialization or speciality. Espe uh, speciality. Uh, what What are you going to take as your speciality? Uh, next year, uh, depending the cum or the GPA, uh, grade point average. G P A cum. Okay. Uh, okay. Depending of not is six months or oh, nine months. Oh, okay. Not much. Not much. That's nothing. Okay. That's hey, congratulations. Yeah. Uh can I ask you, you what is your favorite area of marketing? Um, is marketing psychology. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about marketing psychology. Uh, use the psychology for the the 
for the influence to to uh, to voice the of the person okay okay that's awesome that's awesome use uh, use 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 colors uh, use use smells use a uh, brand uh, or for example use the name of the of the um soccer uh, what say, uh, player soccer soccer player soccer player for uh, for influence to to buy ah oh, okay okay yes that's a good idea <laughs> yes <laughs> awesome awesome well thank you so much eric for your participation thank you thank you excellent hello lisette how are you good evening i'm fine and you teacher very good awesome awesome i feel great today i took a long nap from 3 p.m to 6 p.m sleep like a baby i feel good very relaxed yes i feel excellent wow <laughs> yes yes and tell me how was your day my day was cool teacher is was very Como digo tranquilo, porque no es lo mismo decir tranquilo como personalidad que decir un día tranquilo. Oh, my day was calm. My day oh. was calm. 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 Okay. And what do you normally do at work? Mm. I realize the, um, a lot of a lot of activities and In the day, normally is supervised the treasure and realize co internal control. Re only teacher and other and other activities. Okay. Okay. And do you like to watch movies? Yes, I like watch movies. For example, series in Netflix. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see the the series the. Um, the last series was Elite. <laughs> oh, nice. And yes, it's how, very how, do in, entretenida. Entertaining. Entertaining. Um, en entertaining. Entertaining. And how often do you watch 
movies. Mm. Not so often. Um, I see series. Mm. No tan seguido como digo. Not often. Not often. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't I don't have time. Oh. And what do you like comedy movies, thrillers, science fiction, documentals, drama? Dramas, dramas. Can you tell me about a drama movie that you have watched? I'm watching the drama Oriano and for the way of love. Ah, okay, okay. And mm -hmm. did you like that movie? Yes, it's very entertaining and. And suspense. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Lisette, for your participation. Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, guys. Now we are going to listen to the video. This video is referring to models. Ready? Let's talk about models and others. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final s on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay, at this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards Probably. to using Probably. the models. And when we're sure about the meaning. Okay, we're going to practice and then we are going to check. I want you to give me five sentences. 
five sentences using the models. For example. Meaning we use the model must or adverb. It definitely means. You select the models. Here we have might, may, could, must, possibly, definitely, maybe. So you're going to go here where it says añade una publicación. You're going to click here and you're going to write five examples. For example, might. I say here, titulo, you're going to put models. Models. All right, for example, I might go to the beach on the weekend. Number two, I must pay my bills. Okay, you're going to give me five examples. You can share your screen with your partner. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Teacher. No, teacher. Okay. Work in pairs and then we're going to check together. Let's go. Sí, solo permítame. No, that's... Pero cuando utilicemos, por ejemplo, tenemos que utilizarlos con los it could mean, con el it. En el caso de it, me imagino, eh, es que it mean es... No. Puede usar it, puede usar I, puede usar he, she, we, they, cualquier pronoun. ¿Y es necesario el mean? ¿Ah? ¿Es necesario el mean? Eh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Mean quiere decir, mean quiere decir, quiere decir, ajá. Ok. Entonces los models son solo my, cool and must. Eh, might, may, could, must, maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably, definitely. Pero ahí dice adverbs. <laughs> ah, estos son los adverbs y estos son los models, pero tiene que usar los dos. 
Ah, o sea que las oraciones tienen que ir con el modo y las adverbs. That's right. Correct. <laughs> yes. No entiendo cuál es, el, o sea, no le agarro la idea. Okay. I'm going to give you guys some more examples. That's okay. That's okay. All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and uh, look at this information a little bit closely. So, if I want to use the modal, for example, might, and I say to you, eh, if I say to you, for example, I might buy a hamburger tomorrow, right? I'm saying right there, eh, yo tal vez me compro una hamburguesa mañana. O digamos que quiero decir él o ella. He may buy a hamburger tomorrow. Él tal vez compra una hamburguesa mañana. So when we use might and may, the possibility is not very strong. If I use could, it's a 50% possibility. For example, I, or let's say she could, uh, she could go out Friday night, right? It's a possibility. It's a possibility. But if I say, for example, must, must is a strong possibility. It's like an obligation. If I say to you, I must pay my bills. For example, yo tengo que pagar mis mis facturas. Eh, I must work. Right? Yo tengo que trabajar. Eh, I must study. Yo tengo que estudiar. Right? So these are like obligations, like strong possibility. Then over here on this side, we have the adverbs. For the adverbs, it's the same thing. If I say maybe or perhaps, I can say, uh, eh, maybe, maybe, 
I buy a hamburger tomorrow? Or I can say, perhaps I buy a hamburger tomorrow. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Es lo mismo. Or if I say, mm, um, I possibly... will buy a hamburger tomorrow, right? It's a possibility. Or I can say, I will probably buy a hamburger tomorrow, right? So all of these are possibilities probabilities maybe i buy chicken at kentucky fried chicken or pollo campero maybe i buy pizza at papa john's or domino's or pizza hut or possibly i buy tacos or nachos or burritos or something else it's a possibility if I say definitely, definitely, right? For example, I am going to definitely work tomorrow. That is not a possibility. That's a strong action, right? My boss is not gonna say, ah, Maybe you come to work tomorrow. No, I am going to definitely work tomorrow. Right? Do you understand? Questions? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, okay. We can continue working in pairs. We are going to continue working in pairs. You can share your screen. ¿Quién puede compartir la pantalla? Voy a Ahí ver está. Si puedo, hija. Bueno, dele, dele. Ahí está. Ah, perfecto. Bueno, entonces vamos a hacer los ejemplos, dice, ¿verdad? Con. Yes, for example. For example. Using different, uh -huh. using different models. Y uh -huh. lo escribimos aquí en el chat y los copia uno en representación de todos o o nos vamos dictando. ¿Cómo sea? <laughs> Voy a okay, using the models possibilities might, 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 and code. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Como así, por ejemplo. No sé, no sé si está bien. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. Sí. 
Okay, so, uh, for example, uh, might go to the football game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. sí, no, es, no es seguro, ¿verdad? Yes. Y para May, podríamos poner he may go to the movie theater tomorrow. Okay. What is May cool. con Okay, con cool, no sé, cool, cool, could mm -hmm. you visit El Salvador next year? Mm, fíjese que como está en pregunta, no sé si, no, pero, pero no sé, no, no, no sé, no sé si estaría igual el uso. En los modales. Ajá, porque si, si está preguntándolo, está diciendo como podría venir a visitar, como, le, como que le está pidiendo que de forma amable si puede venir a visitar El Salvador. Pero si no lo hace en forma de pregunta, está diciendo como que posiblemente podría viajar a El Salvador. Entonces podría no, decir, okay. I could visit El Salvador this year, como podría visitar El Salvador este año. Ah, oh, ok. Pero no, yo creo que yo creo que sí es, pero no estoy 100% segura. I could, dice. I could. Dice. El Salvador. This year. Eh. Next year. Ah, sí. Possibility. Okay. Okay, perdón. Yes, it's possibility. Ah, uh -huh. Sí. I, I could.
escape and dress. Mm, fíjese que el, el verbo está en pasado. Ah, es visit. Este, ajá, visit. visit. Another example. Mm. Veo que en el chat, no, no sé, pero no sé si lo tenía en otro, en otro lado, pero veo que en el chat no estaba el de, el de May. Y no me acuerdo que habíamos dicho, así que aquí le mando una. <ríe> Okay. Eric, en el, en, el, en el ejemplo que usted dio, May to go to the football, go to the football game tomorrow, pero no, no, no dejó el, el sujeto. Uh -huh. En verdad. I may. Uh Perfecto. No sé si tenemos que hacer alguna otra o cuántas eh, tenemos que hacer. Five example. De cada una. Each one. No. No. Una, dos, tres, cuatro. Tenemos seis. Ok. ¿Será que tenemos que dejarlos en la plataforma? Si es así, los puedo copiar. Sí, así dijo. Pero ya había puesto yo uno en los míos. ¿En la plataforma? Pero... Sí, solo que viendo esto, creo que había unos que no estaban muy bien. Ah, pero sí estaban. No me acuerdo la canción de la Selena que dice I go for <ríe> No me la puedo, fíjese Es la única que canta en inglés, creo <ríe> ah. Por el cubo Yo solo me puedo hablar de español Sí, cantó esa en inglés. I could fall in love with you, dice la canción. Mm, creo que el nombre sí me suena, fíjese. Bien bonita es la canción. Mm. Le voy a escuchar por recomendación suya. Uh -huh. Está muy bonita. Bien, nos piden regresar. All right, Amanda Mendez, can I have your examples, please? All right. Diana Vasquez, can I have your examples, please? I might go on vacation. No, I might go travel this vacation. I might go to the football game tomorrow. Excellent. 
Mario Barahona. Let me have your examples, please. All right, Eric Ramirez. Let me have your examples, please. Uh, I could visit El Salvador the next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I I may go to the football game tomorrow. I my tra travel this vacation. He may go to the beach this Saturday. Perfect. Perfect. For Lisa teacher, Castillo, uh, let me have your examples. What happened, Mario? The microphone is mute. Uh, Whose microphone? Okay. My microphone is mute? No, no. My microphone. Uh, maybe... Your microphone? Okay, let me hear your examples. Okay. Mario yes. Barahona, let me hear your examples. I, in my ride in bike tomorrow, uh, she could go to work Monday. Mm -hmm. He must eat in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm def definitely working next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You possibly need to go to the gym. <laughs> okay, awesome, <laughs> awesome, excellent. Good job, Mario, thank you. Thanks. Lisa Castillo, let me hear your examples. Okay. I might go to the beach on Sunday. I probably travel to Mexico we'll go the next month. I must pay my debts. I might to the dinner this night. I going to the finally work tomorrow. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go to the next activity. For the next activity, we are going to be looking at the knowledge check section. Knowledge check section, which is coming from section number 4.6, knowledge check 4.6. For this section, what I would like for you to do is take a look at the gestures and identify which gesture they are doing. For example, number one, we have good luck be quiet that sounds crazy i can't hear you peace and come here so let's look at number one hmm what do you think this is what do you think that is that sounds crazy excellent that sounds crazy is correct all right, you will work in pairs and then we will check. Any questions? Not true. No Any question. questions? All right, let's go. Entonces, en el uno es el, quiero ver, God, eh, good. You can share your screen. Yes, teacher. Yes, coming. Okay, number two. Come, Come here. here. Number three. Be quiet. quiet. Number four, peace. Peace. Number five, good luck. Good luck. Number six, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. You is fine.
Muy fácil para usted, ¿verdad? Eso estaba fácil. Con los ojos cerrados, Luisiano. El otro no lo he hecho, no sé si lo hicieron. ¿Cuál? No. 4.9. Yo sí, ya lo hice. Ah, ya, hice ya, ya lo hice, ya me acordé. <ríe> Qué chistoso, Eric. <ríe> no, creí que era el, el otro. <ríe> Apantallándole a Mario estaba. <ríe> no, no. A ver que Mario es un hombre serio. Va, yes. Mario. No. Serious man. Sí. Mario, you are a cook, right? What? You are a, ¿cómo que se llama? Account. Uh, Assist. Ah, yo recordaba otro, otro Mario, no sé si yo. Ah, no, no, ya te confundí. O Manuel, o sea, en los primeros Manuel, modos. Manuel, sí, él, Manuel él, era. Él, él era. O sea, ah. él. Mm, es cierto. Beba, pues, amor. Venga, le voy a arreglar eso. Finish Mario. No hay una que me, me confundí. What number? Okay. <laughs> Exit. <laughs> okay, number one, look your Bikes in the bike rack. Picture if. No hidden or drinking in the classroom. Picture. No, no playing ball in the hallway. In the Always each keep the classroom door close. D. No, pues no pets on campus. C. 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 Trouble tries in the what's the paper basket? G. Don't open the windows. Picture I. E. And turn out the light when leaving. Yes. Yeah. Next exercise audio.
Yes. Son varios. Yes. Ah, uh, only two options. True or false. All right, let me have one volunteer for exercise number two. Come, Come here. here. All right. Come here. Excellent. Who can give me an example for exercise number three? Be quiet. Be quiet. Thank you. Who can give me an example for number four? Peace. Peace. Somebody give me an example for number five. Good luck. Good luck. And the last one, number six. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. All right. Thank you. So, number one is, that sounds crazy. Number two is, come here. Number three is, be quiet. Number four is, peace. Number five is, good luck. Number six is I can't hear you. At this moment, does anybody have a questions in regards to this exercise? Any questions in regards to this exercise? No, teacher. No question. All right. So now what we're going to do is remember that next week we will not have class. Okay. Okay. Vacation. That is correct because Monday is going to be the first of August. Okay. So if it's going to be the 1st of August, that means we're going to be on vacation. So we were going to, we're going to see you on the 8th. 8th. Okay. On the 8th. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. But, but that, yeah. that does not mean that you guys cannot continue working on the platform. If you have time and you can do it, Please move forward and continue working on the platform. The more you advance, the better it is for you. Okay, teacher. Okay. Happy vacation. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much. Everybody have an awesome vacation. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Enjoy your vacation, guys. Bye bye. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good, bye. Night. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.